It's, it's like a, a little mini reality TV show with the wide receivers. Like, who's going to be able to step up and prove? Now, here's the crazy thing. If Aguilar steps, I think the candidate probably is Aguilar is because it's in the last year of his deal. And so he's going to want to be able to prove that he deserves real money. He is a first-round pick. Somehow he's still in the league. John Smith in that same breath. So they're going to have that desire to really show in a contract year that they can get it done. And and maybe to the genius of Belichick, right? This isn't all, you know, schlep rock bad luck. But maybe to the genius of Belichick, he knows that if there are guys who still want to have a career in the league, they have to perform this year. they got to overperform this year or they have no career anymore. And yeah. you have him. And that might work for him. I, I that wouldn't might go work. that far. I don't know if he wouldn't have a career. Well, no, um, no, no well, look, but, I'll put it this way. Did Nikhil Harry get moved last year after that whole debacle at camp? No. He's still here. Yeah. He even took on Cam Newton's number. Like, how do you make it worse? Okay? He's still here. So nobody's wanted him. There was n- nobody took him. And you know Bill will give you up for a sandwich if that sandwich can return, you know, like hunger. You feed hunger, right? So he he's Nikhil's still here. Aguilar is going to have to play through that contract and show that he's worthy. And John U. Smith is in that same boat as well. Because here's the thing. If they have breakout years this year, are you begging for Aguilar and John U. Smith to come back next year? No. No. 